thank you so much for your time. Mamma Lepoki and Crystal Fault. I was asking myself this question why they call you to lead the presentation? Why they know that you are going to minister here with me? I don't know where the energy uh, you are going to get. Or maybe you have a lot of energy. I don't know. Use this one. Uh, I greet the Church of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Greetings, Church. I just want to thank God for this privilege to be in your midst. It is not by my power. It is by the grace of God. I just want to thank you as a congregation of God to be on my side through all the times. To listen to my messages throughout the year. I thank you. Amen. So for this for this moment, I just want you to greet someone next to you. Because someone next to you is very much important according to the word of God. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs. A good neighbor is better than a brother who is living far from you. Hallelujah. Amen. So which means you must respect those who are next to you. Because if anything happened to you, they will take care of you. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why Jesus says, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you love your neighbors? Do you love your neighbors? Or maybe you are not talking to each other. Hallelujah. Amen. You must love your neighbor. Without any doubt. Hallelujah. Amen. You must love your neighbor. Who can take care of this child? Hallelujah. So, today, I have a special topic to you. A special one. The heading of today. It is the time to tell your dream. It is the time to tell your dream. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you do you have dreams? How many of you? I, I just see only one hand. 
So which means uh, the rest you don't have dreams. <laughs> as long as you have 80 kg behind your door, is enough. <laughs> and a box of malana and minatan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you do you have dreams? <laughs> How many of you? Do you have dreams? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to read the word of God in the book of Genesis. Chapter 37. Chapter 37. We are going to start our reading from verse 5. Genesis 37. Genesis 37. Verse 5. Verse 5. Every day and every hour you are faithful. English vision, please. Every day. Joseph at a young age 
He had a dream. A dream to be a leader. He had a dream to become a leader. And he skipped the dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say to you, speak your dream. Mention your dream. Tell your brothers about your dream. Tell the congregation about your dream. Hallelujah. A young man at the middle of the night God visited him and God showed him that Joseph you are not an ordinary person. You are a man of purpose. And I give you this leadership. Speak about your leadership. Speak with your mouth about the leadership. I say to you today, speak with your mouth that you are not a failure. That you are not a failure. You are a successful person. Amen. A dream. Amen. A dream. Is has power when you talk about it. But when you become quiet, there is no one who can know who you want to be. But Joseph spoke to his brothers. And he said to them, I'm going to be the leader. In the coming future, I'm going to be a leader. And the Bible says, they hate him because of the dream. I say to you, people who hate you, it's, it's, it's not just because they don't want to be with you. It's not just because they don't want to be with you. The only thing that they don't like about you is the dream that you have. They like you, but they don't like what you want to be. I say to you today, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, you shall be what the Lord says you are. You are going to be what God says you are. The Bible says, Joseph, speak to his own brothers, the blood brothers. And he said to them, God revealed me this dream. And he showed me this dream. I am sure about it. I saw myself as a leader. Now you see me like nothing here. But in the coming future, it can be tomorrow. It can be next week. I am going to be the leader. I am going to be a leader. They say, listen to this little boy. To what he said to us. And David continued to confess the dream. And he said to them, I am not the tailor. I am the head. I am not a follower. I am not a follower. I am a leader. I said to you today, you have your dream. You have your own dream. Some of you, your dream is to stay in town. Your dream is to have your big house in town. Let me tell you something. Don't fear to tell people about it. Tell them about your dream. Tell them that in the future, I'm going to stay in some side. I'm going to stay in Serala. I'm going to stay in Bento. Someday can say. Someday can say. In which one? Tell them. I pray for a way maker. I pray for the miracle worker. 
He's going to make a way. He's going to make a way. He showed to me that I'm going to stay in town. I still remember my dream. And I still remember that time I was speaking to my younger sisters. I, I, I tell them that I'm going to stay in town one day. I still remember they say to me, that this is a joke. You are not working. But I pursued my dream. And my dream was based on the weight of God. I trusted in the weight of God. I still remember one day when I came back home driving a car. I still remember my sister. She said to me, the police are coming. Amen. The police are coming. Because there is no one can give you a car. And she said to my You allow this car inside this car. You shall see the police. They forget that I have a dream. They forget that I have a dream. So I say to you today. Live your dream. Live your dream. And your enemy. They shall see your dream coming true. To his brothers about his dream. And when we start seeing the height of the dream, they plan evil against him. The reason is not to kill Joseph. Is to stop the dream. Their main reason is to stop the dream. The Bible says, one day you were in the field. Busy taking care of the of the, of the floor. Amen. They were busy taking care of the floor. And Joseph came to them. And the Bible says. They saw you from distance. And they planned. They say this kid. This dreamer. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, when he arrived to them, the plan it was already accomplished. But God speaks through one of his brothers. By the name of Ube. And he said to the other brothers, Let's not split the brother, our brother's blood. Let's not shed the blood of our own brothers. Let's rather throw him in the pit and take his clothes. And put them inside the blood. And take them to the father. And show him that here he is the clothes of your son. He might be killed by the lions. But let me tell you the time when they put the, the clothes in the blood is the beginning of the salvation of Joseph. It was the salvation of Joseph. Because the salvation comes through the blood. So they throw him in the pit. He suffered in the pit. Because of the dream. I say to you today, you are not watching. Because you have a big dream. You have a big dream. They throw you in the pit. 
And they take him to Egypt. And Egypt is the enemy of God. They take the anointed person to the enemy of God. When they get there, the Bible says they sell him again to Potiphar. The emperor of Egypt. The emperor of Egypt. They sell him there. And he makes Joseph his cook in his house. Amen. And Joseph take care of his house. One day. The wife of Potiphar tried to seduce Joseph. Try to seduce. What is it to seduce? Hallelujah. And the Bible says, He said to Joseph, Come and sleep with me. 
Jesus says, No! I can never do such things. Let me tell you something. This woman, she doesn't need Joseph. She needed the dream of Joseph. She wanted to destroy the dream of Joseph. Let me tell you my dear. I want to speak to the ladies now. Amen. I want to speak to the ladies. People that came to you. They tell you how beautiful you are. But actually, Amen. to tell the truth, we are not beautiful. You are not beautiful. The only thing that makes you beautiful is the dream. They just want your dream. They just want your dream. So the Bible says, Joseph suffered because of the dream. But the Bible says, God blessed Egypt because of Joseph. Let me tell you something. Your mother-in-law, your mother-in-law, she takes you for granted. Let me tell you something. They are blessed because of you. Because of your blessing. They are blessed. I say to you, Pete is nothing to you. Stay in the pit. The time is coming. The time it will come. The time it will come. And on that time, you will tell them the dream. You will tell them that I told you. I told you that I'm going to be your leader. I'm going to be a provider. And the Bible says, Canaan experienced a very, very severe female. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And in this case, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, God will make it suffer and bless Egypt because of the anointing of Joseph. The Bible says one day his brothers they heard about Egypt that he has plenty of food. They go to Egypt. When they arrive they ask at the palace. They ask to enter in the palace. And when they arrive at the palace, they ask where they sell grains. Where they sell grains. They direct them to the office of Joseph. They, they direct them straight to Joseph's office. When they arrive, they find a very beautiful man. A very handsome guy. Dressing with expensive clothes. And the Bible says, they didn't recognize him. And they enter. They greet. And he greet them back. But he recognized them. And he said to them, Do you know me? They say, No, Pastor. We don't know you. He said to them, I am your own blood brother. Joseph. The Bible says, they covered their faces 
And Joseph said to them, It's not your fault. God was preparing me to be a very good leader. So today, you are here and I'm going to save you and your family. And he said to them, I'm going to give you the great free. Hallelujah. I say to you, all your enemies, all your enemies, those who try to stop you are dream. Let me tell you something today. They shall find you one day. Sit in your home office. Where God is your leader, they shall come and buy from you. I fear the dream. I fear the dream. So I say to you today, they can say you are late. According to the calendar. But before God, you're still early. I say to you, <laughs> weeping comes at night. Amen. Weeping comes at night. Amen. Weeping comes at night. Amen. Dear Lord, you cannot push you. But joy comes in the morning. But joy comes in the morning. I say to you, your dawn is coming. You have been in the night of weeping. You have been weeping for so many years. You have been weeping for so many years. People drank in expensive car in front of you. You have been hiding in it today. You are still hiding even today. But I say to you, the joy is coming in the morning. Your joy is coming in the morning. Your joy is coming in the morning. I say to you today, if you feel that you have been in a pit for a long time, I say to you, your dream is big. Your dream is big. There is no man who can put a big head on a hole and put it on a small head. A big head needs a big head. A big sufferings. Big sufferings. Comes with big testimony. Come with big testimony. Hallelujah. I say to you today. Your dream is coming out. It's coming out. Let's all stand up as I'm going to pray now. I'm going to pray. I want to pray with those who say, Pastor, I have a dream. But I feel that I'm running late. Those who say, Pastor, I have a dream. Come forward. Come forward. If you have a dream. Only if you have a dream. Come forward. Come forward. A dream, it comes with baggage. Every dream it 
has his own package. Some of the dreams you shall suffer before you can get it. You pray to the Yeah.